recording has been put on pause because the golden music video by Harry Styles just came out. Good morning, welcome to Alleywood Sick Sick week three. I think I've got a London fog um, with some oat creamer, oat chai creamer on top. I'm making some hash browns. I'm gonna make some eggs. And um, we're gonna start Monday at noon because I didn't go to bed till two. Cheers. <laughs> and like, what a beautiful man. Oh my god, I just love him. Why am I like gonna cry right now? This just reminds me of when I used to like wait all day for One Direction to drop a video. I would have my phone out and then I would just refresh play, refresh play to get the views to be like vivos. Oh my god, I love Harry Styles. That was amazing. Wow. Happy Monday. Wow. I'm having a very Monday Monday. I don't really want to do a lot. Also, a real talk, the cases in Toronto are going up very rapidly and kind of scarily and i'm actually leaving for edmonton to go see my fiance in 19 days and so i'm really trying to not leave the house if i don't have to and i'm honestly a little worried about getting steps in because of that so i'm going to try and get 5000 a day this week instead of 10000 um just because i really don't want to be out in public places if i don't have to be and i know that sounds a little extreme but i am taking an airplane and I just don't want to come in contact with it and then bring it to Alberta, bring it to my fiance, have that affect him and his job. Um, uh, also, I'm going for like two months, so it's not like I'm going for a week. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to be extra cautious. So I think I'm going to cut the steps in half this week just because I really don't want to go out unnecessarily. So it's also minus two today so it's really cold so i think i'm just gonna do some yoga for right now um i'm gonna journal all my journal problems are from what the health on instagram she's my favorite instagrammer she's fantastic um so i think i'm just gonna do yoga journal and then honestly I might go for a walk around the block i don't have anything to pick up or do so we'll see we'll see what happens Okay, y'all, I'm making cookies. Um, is this a productive use of my day? Absolutely. It absolutely is. Here's the cookies. They look so good. They smell so good. These are definitely not healthy at all, but you know what? F diet culture. Eat what you want to eat, and I want to eat these cookies. Also, maybe I should have lunch. It is 4 o'clock, but I could just wait till dinner. Maybe I'll have a snack. Guys, today's a mess. Hey, guys, it's currently 7.30 at night. Um... One thing the talent has taught me is that I really need to listen to my body more. And so today, I woke up. I had a list of things I needed to do today. Just listen to my body and realized that my body was telling me that today I needed to just take a rest. To just sit and play Sims. And so I did. And honestly, I feel much better. I feel like tomorrow I'm like ready to go for a walk and get my exercise. And so yeah don't forget that listening to your body is better than pushing yourself to do things you don't want to do that's all i'm gonna say good morning everybody it's tuesday we're having a little pre-workout breakfast because i'm friggin hungry it's just yogurt uh it's my favorite chobani uh, non-dairy strawberry flavor they didn't have blueberry which is my favorite but it's fine with just some hemp granola and chocolate chips and a bottle of water today we're going to work out i actually have errands to run so i do have to go walking today which is good um and i might clean my room a little bit clean my room too um just a little deep clean i think um yeah hi everyone i'm here to say pms is a bitch i was working out and i literally was almost done but it's it was a hit workout and i actually find i can't really do we'll do this this is a lovely angle hit workouts for me just make me feel gross in general i don't know what it is i just think that my body doesn't like high intensity things it never has like even running and stuff as a kid i would much prefer to like do weights and things so i passed out in the middle of my workout got really dizzy and was like oh shit i can't see anything and now i'm back in bed but i am feeling better i'm gonna go take a hot shower but yeah, I forgot every time I'm on my period, like the day before it comes, I just, I'm so lightheaded all day. And um, I just hate periods. I really do. That's the theme of this week. 
I'm gonna call this vlog I hate periods. What a week. Took a shower, ate some lunch, feeling much better. So I'm gonna go for a walk. I have to go get my birth control filled and I have to go pick up something at Staples. And I really want a salted caramel mocha hot chocolate from Starbucks, but with no caramel drizzle because I effing hate caramel. So here's my outfit. These jeans are thrifted. The brand is Levi's. This shirt I got off of Depop. It just came in yesterday, but the brand is Frank and Oak and it's so friggin' comfortable. Just have this little cute little hair tie-in. Gonna wear some white sneaks. And um, it's Aaron's time, baby. Turns out it is actually porn ring day. Walk got cut hella short because it's pouring rain. So I just got my Starbies. I got a grande salted caramel hot chocolate with no caramel drizzle, half sweet oat milk, and extra salt topping. <laughs> so I'm having this pita, but I fucked it up while I was putting it together, broken half. We have avocado, mayo, lettuce, cucumber, cheese. Um, don't know how I'm gonna eat this, but it's okay. Gluten free bread loves to rip. And then I have this other um, electrolyte water. I'm really tired, so I think I actually need to take a nap after I eat, but um, yeah. Okay guys, I just napped for two and a half hours. I don't know what happened, but I was like really, 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 really exhausted to the point where I was eating lunch and literally thought I was about to like faint. I was so tired. So I just lay down, lay down and slept for two and a half hours. I have like a whole surge of energy now. So I'm gonna just try and get a lot of stuff done. I'm gonna make dinner. It's almost eight o'clock. Um, tonight's gonna be a long night, but um, I have energy now. That was just, crazy that was like very crazy so for dinner i'm having gluten-free spring rolls i'm trying them for the first time with some plum sauce i was gonna make stir fry but y'all i'm way too tired like <laughs> today i know when my period starting tomorrow i know my period starting tomorrow because i have legit no energy today like i don't want to do anything and so tomorrow i know it's gonna come and i'm gonna feel fine but just this was all i wanted for dinner so please no judgment i did eat three meals today so that's okay <laughs> <laughs> good morning everyone happy wednesday it is finally like sunny outside today so we're gonna go for a long walk because i feel like this is one of the last sunny days we're gonna have bed is made we're about to go make some brunch because i slept in but i feel so much better than i did yesterday then we're gonna do some yoga and then we're gonna head out for a little walk and have a little walk day and um yeah come along for the ride with me <laughs> such a yoga practice i time lasted it but it's really fast but it was 30 minutes and holy <laughs> it was hard um it definitely was not a beginner practice so if you're a beginner to yoga don't recommend it but i've been practicing yoga for almost four years so i feel like it was challenging uh i feel very awake so also you can tell it's very sunny also so yay fit i feel like i look like spinelli from recess <laughs> just wearing some cargo pants cute just a un, like black t-shirt and this choice of on shirt that i got at his concert in 2018 just a beanie so it's gonna be cold i literally feel like a 2014 like skater girl like i don't know what this fit is but you know what we're kind of feeling it i kind of like it <laughs> Got my Starbucks, got a grande salted caramel mocha hot chocolate with oat milk, extra salt topping, half sweet, and no caramel because I hate caramel. Hello, I'm lying in the grass. I got a book, we're gonna read for a little bit. It's beautiful out. I was gonna go to the water, but I just don't have time now because it's gonna get dark in like two hours. But yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful day. Got a little pre-walk banana muffin in a mug. Matcha, it looks terrible. I think I added too much matcha powder. Um, anyway, I can't find my milk frother either, so I had to use a whisk. So this might be actually disgusting. It looks kind of like potato soup or tomato broccoli broccoli soup. But this muffin, 
annoyed my backpack leaked in my bag and now my book is literally sopping like i was just trying to read my book now it's soaking wet so i have to leave it out to dry and i'm really upset because my book was getting really good um i'm reading oof, still me by jojo moitz it's the final book in the me before you trilogy um it's so good if you haven't read the series um i want to watch the movie too but i want to read the book first and oh my god the books are stunning and um i'm like halfway through and i'm just i'm really into it right now and now i have to wait for this stupid thing to dry so i'm pissed off but it's okay it's fine we're gonna light some candles i'm gonna finish haunting of bly manor because my friends keep tweeting about it and i just i need to finish it so i can like be caught up like with that like aspect so i'm gonna light some candles and then i'm gonna turn on the tv and we're gonna watch Bly Manor while I do a little crafting thing and um yeah we're gonna have a chill evening I think I think I'm gonna do like pita pizzas for dinner just something simple oh my god my floor is soaking wet wow you know what guys it's okay today was actually a good day so I have no complaints I'm gonna clean up a little bit so I was gonna make pita bread pizza but somehow my pitas went bad within one day so I'm pissed off, <laughs> but it's fine. We'll just do this little charcuterie board. Tomorrow I'm gonna actually make soup to have that for the rest of the week. I just have enough time to prep it during the day, but tomorrow I have an eye exam and then I have the rest of the day to do nothing. So I'm gonna do it then, um, but yeah, so annoying. So 20 to nine now. Oh, this is gonna fall out of my hand. I put 20 to 9 made myself a cup of just like the PC brand bedtime tea. I'm really tired <laughs> and I have an eye appointment at 12 tomorrow so I'm gonna try and go to bed by like 11 tonight so I can get up early but I'm gonna do a little bedtime yoga flow to end the night and if my book is dry I'll read my book if not I'm just gonna play some sims. On favorite pretty chilly evening I hope you guys had a great Wednesday and I will see you all tomorrow. This week like isn't that interesting honestly I've had like no motivation and I don't really know what to film so if you guys have anything you want to see in the vlogs please let me know I would love to have some feedback on what you'd like to see if it's like meals or if it's like outfits or just like talking about my life getting to know me let me know I would love to aim to please so yeah good night guys hope you guys had it <laughs> good night guys hope you guys had a great Wednesday <laughs> Good morning, happy Thursday. I already ate breakfast. I made another banana muffin in a mug because I'm running really late for my eye appointment. And I made a like a orange cinnamon tea latte thing, but I think I have to take it to go because I'm running late. But it was delicious. But we're gonna get my eyes checked today, so yay eyes. <laughs> this is the fit. Just the crew neck sweater, little collared shirt, some khakis, white sneaks. My friend Liv wore an outfit like this yesterday and she's basically my style inspiration if she's watching this. I live. Um, so I dressed like her today. I don't know how I feel about it, but I kind of think that it's a vibe. So here we are. I'm literally running so late for this moment right now and there's construction. So I have to walk the opposite way. Got my tea though. Um, yeah, I closed my appointments at 12. It's already 1 11 40 and it's a 30 minute walk so good job olivia good good job today good job cheers folks <laughs> y'all it's like 2 30 got my eyes checked my prescription actually didn't change that much which is actually kind of nice i did get new frames though just to have these as backup and because my right eye got a little bit and needed a bit of a higher prescription um so those are coming in soon they look really sick now i'm making some lunch we're making egg salad i boiled like six eggs and then i'm just gonna put it in the fridge whatever i don't eat the trick to making the perfect egg salad is to boil the water, like put the eggs in the pot, boil the water with the eggs in the pot. And as soon as it's like reaching like peak boil, you turn the water off and let it sit for 12 minutes. Your eggs will never be made incorrectly again. I learned this trick from my uncle and it makes perfect boiled eggs every single time. So we're gonna have some egg salad and then I'm gonna start dinner just so it's ready. I'm gonna make some soup for dinner, um, but I'm gonna make it early just cause I don't wanna cook later, so. Just a little wrap. We got some lettuce in there, some water. Hee <sighs> hee.
Hello, hello, hello. It is nine o'clock at night. I did not make soup today because I got really tired. I don't know what it is this week. Like, I don't really know what's going on, but I was talking to my mom earlier and even she was like, yeah, this whole week I've just felt exhausted. Like, I feel like I'm not getting enough sleep even though I'm getting like eight hours. I feel like I'm sleeping all the time. Is anyone else feeling this way this week? Is it because the time is changing? Like, please help because I'm exhausted. But I folded and put away laundry and I think I'm just gonna go to bed early tonight and just like play Sims or watch Netflix. But I did work out today. I did get all my steps in. I did eat three meals and I did drink all my water. So honestly, I'm very proud of myself today. And just remember, progress is measured not by how you do things all at once, but how you build habits over time. So with that, I say good night and I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, hello, happy Friday. I just finished my leg day workout. I look like a hot mess. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna do some yoga now. Um, just keeping it real guys, this week has obviously been really boring. Please let me know what I can do to like keep these vlogs interesting because obviously Toronto is mostly on lockdown right now so I'm not able also it's freezing cold so I'm not able to like go out and do a bunch of cool things which I wish I could do but it's mostly just me talking so please let me know what you would like to see because I'm trying to keep this as real as me as possible because I think a lot of times social media and YouTube can get very jaded by um unrealistic things and so I want to show that like this is my real life and sometimes I lay in bed all day and watch Netflix and it doesn't make you any less of a person or it doesn't make you any less like productive if you just need a day like that it's okay but tomorrow I'm going to um, a farmers market my dad and her husband and I were actually driving up to Kitchener Waterloo area to go to the St. Jacob's market um, just to get out of the city for a little day trip we've never been before so I'm very excited about that. I'm actually going to try and like vlog most of it and do like a little montage day kind of thing. So I'm really excited about that. And then today it's actually minus five outside. So I will not be leaving my house, which is why I'm working out at home. And I'm not going to do much today. I'm going to my dad's for the night tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep it real with you guys today. I'm going to talk a little bit about my health issues this week because I do have some health issues that I would like to touch on to keep this even more real. Um... But yeah, let's do some yoga. Okay, friends, let's go make some brunch. Apparently, this whole week has just been making lunch at 12 p.m. but you know what i have no complaints there's literally nothing else to do and i'm tired and i'm on my period so also we're going to turn the light on because apparently it is dark this morning i mean look outside what why is it so dark um we're gonna keep it super simple for breakfast and for breakfast just i made some egg salad yesterday like pre-made some pre-made egg salad so we're gonna put that in a wrap i really want some hash browns this morning so i'm going to turn the oven on it's gonna be a little cook with me. I'm not gonna speed it up, we're just gonna cook and talk. The oven is on to 450. We're gonna make a pumpkin chai latte. Let's get the kettle. Oh, it already has water in it. Oh, I love that. Amazing. Boil that. It's not a really slow, easy moving kind of day is the vibe I'm feeling today. Get my little East Coast mug, a little ASMR. It's ASMR. <laughs> my little pea steeper. My little pumpkin chai. And then on top of it, we actually add, here's my fridge. Me and Larry this fridge. We add this little, oat chai creamer and I'm gonna cry when I'm out of this because it's so good. And I just heat it up in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Get my handy dandy milk frother, froth the milk and add it on top and it's a little latte. That's about everything I learned at Starbucks is how to make a delicious. In this segment are really whack because my fiance kept calling me. I love him so much, but he kept calling and interrupting the filming. So it's all over the place because my thoughts are all over the place, but.
That's it from editing. Live. See you later. Haha, <laughs> sorry, my fiance called me and I have to answer because I miss him. So <laughs> if he calls again, it's gonna cut out. And I don't have my tripod set up because I took it down to answer the phone call. So we got the kettle. And now we're gonna pour it in. <laughs> um, anyway, what I wanted to talk about was some health issues that I have. That's nothing like life threatening or crazy or anything like that. It's more so to do with like my joints and my body and like how my body works. Um, so I actually have a connective tissue disorder is what my doctors think. Um, it's never been officially diagnosed because as a teenager, I chronically dislocated my right shoulder over 20 times. And um, instead of the doctors properly assessing me, they told me that I was still growing and that I would grow out of this issue despite my shoulder literally hanging. Like even now you can see they're not even, this arm was about down to like here. Like I'm not even joking. If I can find pictures, I will insert them. And so, yeah, they basically told me that there was nothing they could do. They did an MRI and said it came back blank. Um, my physiotherapist didn't believe them, but he was like, okay, like this, you're gonna have to fight like for this medical case. And so then I moved to Toronto and I dislocated my shoulder again after not having dislocated it for a few years. But because of all the injuries, I had a lot of chronic back pain, chronic neck pain, and I was starting to show symptoms of arthritis in the shoulder as well. But again, the doctors just didn't want to listen to me. So I move here. I dislocated, go to the hospital. The surgeon immediately is like, something is wrong with your arm. They get me an MRI. We find out that the MRI they did in Halifax was actually done incorrectly. That's right, they did my MRI wrong when I was 16 and I was almost 20 when this happened. So this was four years of just chronic pain for no reason. And the doctor looks at the MRI and goes, oh, your whole labrum, which is basically what holds your shoulder into the socket is torn all the way around. That's my milk. It's torn all the way around. Like it's ripped, like not even just a little tear, like it's ripped. And I was like, okay. Cause in the back of my head, I knew this. I knew that there was something wrong and I knew I needed surgery and I was fighting for the surgery, but no one wanted to listen to me. Anyway, so they come back, my labor was torn. I knew this the whole time, so did my parents. So then I get the surgery and it was supposed to be a 45 minute surgery. It turned into a four hour surgery because not only was my labrum torn, my tendons in my shoulder were about to snap off. And there was also a bit of my shoulder bone like poking through like, the cartilage in my shoulder because my surgeon said it was such a mess in there because it had been left there for four years. And if I had had this surgery when I was 16, when this first had happened, I would have had no lasting effects on my body. But because the doctors didn't want to listen to me and didn't want to believe that something was wrong with me and said I was faking it, I now live with chronic back, neck, and shoulder pain as well as arthritis. I just want to say this breakfast looks so perfect. What the heck? What the heck, Olivia? What the heck? Like I was saying, yeah, this surgery was terrible. <laughs> and now because of it, I have chronic back, neck, shoulder pain and arthritis on my shoulder. But my doctor also thinks I have a connect connective tissue disorder because my knees and hips also pop out of their sockets very randomly, as well as I have very hyperextended joints. My body does things it should not be able to do normally. So... Because of that, sometimes I have to take my movement and my exercise very slowly if I'm having a lot of bad muscle flare-ups, which I have been this week. My back is absolutely killing me. Um, I'm in a lot of pain, which is why I probably have been a bit unmotivated and very boring to watch, and I apologize. But yeah, that's what I have going on. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing blah, but if I am not being super great and amazing, it's because I'm having a lot of pain in my body because... Doctors don't like to listen to teenagers. So yeah, that's my health. <laughs> oh, guys, I just finished watching the final season of The Good Place. It was such a perfect ending. Like this series finale was so well done. I don't really like comedy shows or like shows like that, but this one was just so good. They finish it up so well. Like, I just was crying for the last, like, hour and a half because I'm, like, so emotional about how it ended. But, oh my god, what a good series finale. <laughs> um, wow. I think I'm going to start ending this vlog now. But, wow. Well done, good place. Well done. Snack, hummus, 
what are these called? Carrots and gluten-free pita crackers. We got the vlog open to edit. My dad's coming in about two hours and I have to shower before then. So let's see how much I can get done. I'm gonna work on a new intro today too, I think. Yeah, the vlog this week is pretty short, but it's okay. We tried our best. Did you know the vlog was actually half an hour? Well done, Olivia. You did absolutely nothing this week and still made a 30 minute video? YouTube, hand me a play button. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm all showered. I'm just wearing like sweats and a Blair Walnuts t shirt, <laughs> waiting for my dad to come get me. We're gonna go to Costco and then honestly, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired. But I started editing this week's vlog. It's quite dry. <laughs> Which, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you. Um, but you know, it's okay. It's Friday and my period's ending and I feel better and next is gonna be good. Um, it's been a weird week, but it's okay. But I can't wait to show you guys around the market tomorrow because I've never been either. So it'll be a fun little adventure. <laughs> of my day at the St. Jacob's Market. It was so much fun. I got a lot of goodies. I'm really tired. I have a really bad migraine just from being under a mask all day. But yeah, I had a great day. I got some really cool stuff, but I'm really tired. So I'm going to actually get ready for bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little montage that I did. And um, yeah. <laughs> Went to Uniqlo today. Got these super cute dress pants for 40 bucks. I actually don't own any dress pants and my program that I'm doing in school has an internship in it. So I want to start building my little professional wardrobe. These are really cute, really freaking comfy. I'm I'm actually obsessed with these. Like if you have a Uniqlo, go get these. I was going to do a little market haul, but I actually didn't get a lot. And most of it is actually Christmas gifts. I did get the best gluten for cookies I've ever eaten in my life. And look at this dried bouquet. I did show it, but... It's dried flowers, so it's not going to die, and it's just so pretty. So, yeah, I just have to get a vase tomorrow for it, but super cute. Good morning, happy Sunday, happy last day of week 
three. Um, we're gonna do the Chloe Ting challenge. I joined a new account. Ac I cannot speak apparently. I joined a new accountability group on Instagram where we're doing the Chloe Ting challenge every day. Am I prepared to die? Absolutely not. So I'm gonna eat breakfast first. I feel like I might pass out if I don't. So let's go make some breakfast. Okay guys, just did Chloe Ting, day one. Absolutely demolished me. I could not do any of the burpees or jumping things because of my knees. But I just did yoga and I feel very open. So um, it's also minus six outside, AKA we'll not be going for a walk today, but it's okay. If it didn't record, I'm drinking a protein shake with bananas, oat milk, Vega, Vega protein powder and collagen, so good. Friends, so I did not film an outro. Um, it's two o'clock right now, and honestly, there's nothing else I'm gonna do today. So I'm just gonna end this week here. My takeaway from this week is that the most important thing you can do for yourself is to listen to your body because no one knows your body like you know your body, and the second you start listening to your body, the better everything becomes. So please don't push yourself if your body's telling you to take a rest. You're not gonna be in trouble for taking a rest, you're not gonna be in trouble for taking a day off because your body needs a break, your body needs to relax, and if that's watching Netflix, if that's playing Animal Crossing, if that's playing Sims, if that's playing with your children, then do that for yourself. Take the rest day, it's okay. It's not gonna impact anything you do at the end of the day, I promise. So with that, I say make sure to listen to your body this week, eat a good meal, eat some mac and cheese, eat some french fries, diet culture, eat what you want to eat my friends and thank you so much for watching to the end of the video make sure to follow my instagram as well as check out the six fix community it's all linked down below quinn if you're watching to the end of this text me an emoji because i know you are make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys all next week have a great week and remember you are the most important person in your life